Um, today um, is a day that we are honoring uh, one of the, um, and I'll say the greatest of all time, uh, what do they call them, GOATs, greatest of all time, um, legislators uh, in the history um, of Michigan. Um, Burton Leland, uh, we welcome the family here today, and, and, and I knew Burton and the family um, and go way back uh, with my dad being in the legislature as well, um, along with Curtis's dad. Um, you know, they spent a lot of time together. Um, and so knowing him from representing and being in the city of Detroit um, as, a, as a kid growing up, um, watching him and as an adult, as a legislator, watching him and learning from him, um, his uh, tenacity um, as being a people person, um, a person of the people, um, and watching him at community groups and how he had a swagger uh, to himself to be able to work the room in any type of uh, circumstance, be it controversial or not controversial, or whatever the situation may be, he had a way to be able to break barriers down uh, for uh, dealing with people, whether they were willing or unwilling uh, to have conversations. He would make sure that he would have a, a conversation with them and, and, and especially tell people what was on his mind, and he had no problem. Uh, I've sat in many meetings as a legislator when he was in the Senate and I was in the House um, sitting down with um, um, one of them was with one of the mayors of the city of Detroit and there was a controversial issue and, and uh, Burton at the time, I call him Burton at the time, uh, disagreed with the mayor and they had a little debate going across the table and it was quite interesting to see it go. And, and he taught me that no matter what um, the obstacles are, um, stand up for the people, no matter who it is, um, no matter what they have to say, no matter what the obstacles are, if you have a stance on something and it stands for the people, then you go right ahead, you stand up for it, and that's the type of um, person he was. So um, thank you, Mrs. Leland, for sharing your husband with us. Thank you, Gabe, for sharing your dad with us and your brother. Um, he'll be missed, but he will not be forgotten. Um, this place will not ever be the same without him because of his wit and his humor that we were, a couple of us were just talking about, but thank you for sharing him with us for, I don't know, 28 or so years up here and so on with uh, Wayne County. Um, but thank you for sharing him with us. And um, as he steps into heaven, God is saying to him, job well done. Job well done, young man. And God has called him home because he has fulfilled his job and what God sent him down here to do. And so now he's up in heaven and we'll all have that chance to see him again and we hope to see him again.